so hi everyone today we will be discussing a new enhanced rag and graph rag framework that is cag knowledge augmented generation for lm based retrieval so i assume that you already know what is rag and how certain issues in rag are taken care by graph rag now even graph rag is not a perfect solution for lm based retrieval so there is an enhanced version that is cag that has came in and which is looking to outperform both rag and graph rag so in this particular post we will try to understand how cag works what are its different features how it is different from rag and graph rag and where you can test it out so i assume that before we jump on to cag working you already know how rag and graph rag works if you don't know on the channel i have already explored both rag and graph rag in quite detail you can check that out and we also have a combined course for that on gumroad you can check that out as well now talking about what is cag knowledge augmented graph integrates llms with structured knowledge graphs i think this is very similar to graph rag but with a little twist enabling logical reasoning and question answering in specialized fields it is built on open spg engine and addresses limitations in traditional qa systems like rag and graph rag now what is open spg engine before we jump on to it is a framework for creating and managing knowledge graphs it combines simplicity with advanced features making it easy to use for real world applications so basically a framework for creating knowledge graphs using the given information you have and cag uses internally open spg to create knowledge graphs talking about the key features logical reasoning cag supports advanced reasoning capabilities such as multi step reasoning this means it can connect and infer answer from multiple pieces of related information it is designed for vertical knowledge bases that is it works well with domains that require deep specialized knowledge right it integrates structured data and unstructured data both into a single system improved accuracy as already told both rag and graph rag have certain limitations traditional rag at times produces ambiguous answers graph rag may introduce noise in the reasoning process CAG reduces mistakes and provides clearer and more precise answers. So CAG is more accurate than both RAG and Graph RAG. Knowledge Graph integration it uses knowledge graphs as we have already mentioned, and customizability. CAG can incorporate domain-specific schemes and rules, unstructured data, and what not. Any sort of a data format CAG can handle it in a single unified system. So there is a concept called as knowledge representation in CAG. CAG organizes mixed data like unstructured data, news and logs, structured data, expert rules into a single graph. This is very very interesting because nothing like that has come in before, which is able to cater everything in a single format, in a single unified graph. It uses techniques like extraction, normalization, semantic alignment to connect and index this information, making it compatible with both schema-free and schema-constrained data. So. even if you have a structure even if you don't have a structure nothing is an issue with cag this unified graph supports efficient search logical reasoning and cross referencing so i think this was the major limitations earlier also uh, which cag is able to resolve now that it is able to bring in all the data under a single unified graph imagine a company has news articles unstructured data sales record which is structured pricing rules which is an expert knowledge cag extracts key details combining them into knowledge graph single knowledge graph so all these different type of information is now a single graph now if you ask it how should we adjust prices based on recent market trends cag would be able to analyze the entire graph connect the news sales rules everything together giving you a final answer so this is the specialization of cag now we will come on to the key question how cag works so this is very crucial there are two steps majorly involved in cag learning and answering learning gather information the first step would be to gather information take all the documents data knowledge provided everything and break them into meaningful chunks extract key details extracting important information from the data chunk that we have prepared earlier and create a knowledge map instead of just storing the information randomly it organizes it into knowledge graph a web of connected ideas this is what a knowledge graph is known as so basically gather the information create small chunks extract important information and create a knowledge graph the second step is answering that is querying first of all when the user gives you a prompt it tries to understand the question and doesn't just go for uh, just search for keywords this is the issue with 
rag as well as at times with graph rag also when i was implementing it with using lang chain it tries to extract the key entity and then goes for a uh, verbal search which is not the right way it understands what you are asking and rewrites the question if needed to make it clear search the knowledge map reason and connect cat just doesn't give you a fact it connects multiple pieces of information to give you a complete answer generate the answer finally cat puts everything together in a clear human like response now one thing that should be clear to you is that it is very much different from traditional rag because traditional rag doesn't uses knowledge graphs and all but one question that might be coming to your mind is how is it different from graph rag multiple points multiple points though both the more architecture uses knowledge graphs but in a very different way so graph rag do uses knowledge graphs but lacks deep reasoning cag builds domain specific knowledge graphs and uses advanced reasoning graph retrieves facts but struggles to combine them to form a complex query this is something that i have also felt it is able to retrieve multiple facts but not able to gather them together cag uses multi hop reasoning to connect and synthesize information handle complex queries graph rag may work for simple queries but may miss on the bigger picture this is not the case with cag so graph rag was quite promising when it came in as people are mentioning that it would be able to give you a more comprehensive answer but in one of my videos i had a direct comparison between rag and graph rag on a small data set and it was also struggling to give answers on complex queries accuracy and error rates graph rag is though better than traditional rag but still has certain errors cat by far has the least number of errors as mentioned by the creators practical example for example if you ask about climate change it might give you fragmented answers about climate change and crop yields in india cag would be able to give you a cohesive answer graph rag is a librarian who finds books but may not understand and connect the content this is a crucial difference cag is a subject matter expert who deeply understands everything now these are certain differences that i have tried to point down for all the three architectures that we have for traditional rag graph rag and cag in your free time you can pause this video and go through these points to better understand how these three architectures are different and how cag is the best of all, the lot released so far the multiple points on which we have discussed these differences how to use cag coming to the last as the post is quite long i haven't jumped on to the codes of cag but you can explore cag on the github repo this is the github repo which you can see here just go through it the repo is ready and soon i would be trying to implement it for you as well to showcase how cag works by the time just try to read about cag and how it is different from other architectures and do give a shot to the github repo as well thank you so much